you guys? It's Pokegirl7 here, and today we have some interesting Pokemon Go news. So the legendary Pokemon Rayquaza is returning to raid battles in Pokemon Go for a very short amount of time. So basically we're going to be getting a Rayquaza raid weekend, and it starts on March 15th at 1pm Pacific time and ends on March 18th at 1pm Pacific time. So this Rayquaza event was actually leaked a couple of weeks ago, but we didn't want to really say anything until it was confirmed, but it was officially announced today. And with those leaks, a lot of people thought that Shiny Rayquaza would get released and that we would get like five free raid passes, but it's looking like both of those are not true, guys. I don't think we're getting Shiny Rayquaza for this event, and I'm absolutely heartbroken, but let me just tell you guys why I think that. So in the English announcement for this event, they didn't say anything about a Shiny Rayquaza, so a lot of us, including myself, were kind of thinking maybe they'll surprise us with the Shiny when the event starts. Maybe they're just not going to say anything. But guys, in the Japanese announcement, they actually specifically said that the Shiny Rayquaza will not be released during this event. So I guess it's kind of safe to say that Shiny Rayquaza won't be released for this event, guys. It's really heartbreaking. I was really looking forward to this. You know, I've seen a lot of the leaks online, and I was really hoping it would come true. So these leaks were correct. I mean, they got the dates right and everything, but apparently the Shiny Rayquaza is not being released. I think we kind of just assumed that, because it's kind of like the Latios Raid weekend that we had. They actually ended up extending that to a Latios week, but um, they released a Shiny Latios for that event. So a lot of us were kind of thinking it was going to follow the same pattern for Shiny Rayquaza. And the thing is we already have shiny Kyogre and shiny Groudon and Rayquaza finishes that trio for generation 3 so we all thought like we gotta get shiny Rayquaza soon it completes the trio and it just hasn't happened guys and I don't really know if it's gonna happen for this event uh, we can still be a little bit hopeful um, they didn't announce it in the English announcement maybe the Japanese one was incorrect probably not but we can hope I guess guys maybe they're trying to surprise us what if they're pulling our legs and trying to get us all hyped and curious about this event? Like, what if the shiny does come out? I hope it does. I really want to rate for this shiny. Shiny Rayquaza is a fan favorite. Everybody loves this shiny, including myself. It's one of the best ones of all time. I love black shinies, and that black goes perfect on Rayquaza. I really want to hunt this shiny so bad, guys. But honestly, I kind of thought they might release shiny Rayquaza in like a three-hour raid event, kind of like they did last summer with the three legendary birds. But you guys never know. If we get this Rayquaza raid weekend and uh, we never get the shiny we might get like another Rayquaza raid event uh, for like three hours where the shiny is released so if that event happens I think it might be like this summer or something like that we can hope for that and maybe they'll do like a three month thing where they'll do shiny Kyogre shiny Groudon and shiny Rayquaza even though the other two shinies have been released already maybe they'll give us another chance to get those shinies and then they'll finish it off with the shiny Rayquaza that would be perfect everybody wants this shiny so bad the outrage is crazy on Twitter right now everybody so mad that the shiny hasn't been released but this is honestly a good thing at least Rayquaza is coming back it's a good Pokemon it's the best dragon type attacker in the game and there's a lot of new people that don't have Rayquaza yet we haven't even seen Rayquaza in Pokemon Go for like a year so you got to think of all the new players that don't have it in their Pokedex yet this is a good opportunity for them uh, maybe one day like I said we'll get the Rayquaza shiny in another event or maybe in research breakthrough something like that I don't know let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Are you disappointed that there's no shiny Rayquaza? I don't know, but um, we're also not getting any free raid passes either. I'm not sure where the leak got that from, but we're not getting any free raid passes during this weekend. It's just like a three-day event, and you can go do uh, legendary Rayquaza raids, and that's pretty much it. And I'm pretty sure during this event, Dialga raids are still going to be around. So not every legendary raid is going to be a Rayquaza, but a lot of them will be. It's kind of like with the Latios raid week that we had. Um, Palkia raids were still around, but we also had Latios. And guys, they actually extended the Latios weekend to a full week. So they might end up doing that with this raid weekend for Rayquaza. I don't know. It would be really cool if we had a full week to do the raids. And especially if the shiny does somehow get released. I don't know. We can just hope. But let's not get our hopes up too much because it might not happen. Uh, since the Japanese announcement said it's not going to happen. It probably won't. So like I said, we don't know if Shiny Rayquaza is going to be released, but at least we know that Rayquaza raids are coming back to Pokemon Go. So let's go over a quick Rayquaza raid guide. A 100% Rayquaza raid boss will have a CP of 2191 on encounter, but with the weather boost, it'll be 2739. So Rayquaza is a dragon and flying type Pokemon, so its weaknesses are dragon, fairy, rock, and it's double weak to ice type. Like I said, Rayquaza is double weak to ice type move, so the best bet is to use your ice type Pokemon. You could use a Mamoswine with Powder Snow and Avalanche, or a Weavile with Ice Shard and Avalanche. You could also use a Jinx with Frost Breath and Avalanche, or a Mewtwo with Psycho Cut and Ice Beam. And last but not least, Articuno with Frost Breath Ice Beam. 
So the best fairy type counters would be Gardevoir with Confusion and Dazzling Gleam, or a Togekiss with Dazzling Gleam. So the best rock type to use would be a Tyranitar with Smackdown and Stone Edge. And as for dragon types, you gotta be a little bit careful because if the Rayquaza Raid Boss knows Outrage, it's gonna knock out your dragon type counters in one hit. So just be careful on that. But if Rayquaza doesn't know Outrage, you could use another Rayquaza with Dragon Tail Outrage or a Dragonite with Dragon Tail Outrage. A Rayquaza Raid Boss can be taken down by two high level trainers with good counters, but if you're a lower level trainer or you don't have a lot of high level trainers in your area, go in with five or more. So I am pretty excited about Rayquaza returning to Raids. I really wish the Shiny would be released, but even if it's not, it's still going to be cool to catch Rayquaza again. It's an awesome Pokemon and I'm looking forward to it. So that's all I have for today's video, guys. Good luck on your Rayquaza Raids. Like I said before, it starts March 15th at 1 p.m. Pacific Time and ends on March 18th at 1 p.m. Pacific Time. So be ready, guys. I know you can do it. It's not the hardest raid boss to take down, so you got this. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close off this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you smash that like button. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel to join my Gengar gang. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye!